What's going on guys? My name is Logan with West Desert Wheeler and in today's video we're going to take a look at a couple competition runs on my Rock Pirates RC Interceptor competition debut. That means that I've never actually taken this out to a competition. It's a new truck that I put together and I was really excited to get it out to a competition. This is a comp put on between me and my friends with a $50 buy-in and we had about 16 to 18 people show up. You do the math, that's a pretty hefty payout for the podium. We did pay out first, second, and third, and then we also had a shootout course in the end for positions one through four to give that fourth place uh, position an opportunity to bump someone off the podium. So really fun format that we put together, and we had the competitors set out their own individual gates. That way we had some variety, and the people hosting the event didn't have any bias in setting the course and uh, everyone got to put their own little mark on it. So a lot of fun. I set a few fun gates myself, and we're gonna find out in this video if they end up biting me. So I definitely need to send a thank you to my sponsors because I am a team driver for a few companies, namely being Rock Pirates RC, D's company is who makes the shock bands on my truck, and then I've also got Spec RC, which are custom CNC wheels. These are their comp cut wheels, which are a positive offset wheel to allow you to pull in the uh, overall width of your truck and make it a more narrow setup with a lot of extra clearance for the portal axles that I'm running on my truck. You will see one of the judges here running around in a WDW shirt that is all tie-dye. That is a new design available in the link down below. Just so you know, I have marked down all of the kids' shirts and all the apparel for kids to almost zero markup so that it's actually really affordable. So if you want to grab your kid a shirt, anything on there is just at cost, and I'm not making anything off that to get the kiddos in some WDW merch. That judge who's running around with us is actually Luke from Scumbag RC on Instagram. You can find me on Instagram at West Desert Wheeler, and myself and Luke are doing a weekly live stream on Instagram on Thursday nights, 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, which would be 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Every Thursday night, myself and Luke are doing live streams over on Instagram, so be sure to stop by and say what's up. All right, and here we are getting my truck ready, set up on the line. You can see I've got a pretty sweet Hawaiian shirt going on to get in the head of the competitors because that is not something I would typically do. Obviously just a goofy thing I did just for fun because we we're out there having a good time on the rocks. So right there, you can see that the judge is Luke in the tie-dye shirt, and then the cameraman here is Alec from High Noon Hobby. High Noon Hobby is another great YouTube RC crawler channel, so be sure to check them out and follow along. Here we are, lots of banter before we get fired up. Had to get them a scorecard. Right here, pulling the winch and hooking it onto a zip tie on the back of my truck to give me a little bit of an advantage. If I do decide to pull winch, you've got a lot of cable already out when it's hooked to the bed of the truck like that. So there's a little tip for you. Hook your winch to the rear of the truck to have more line out quicker. And here we go, headed into gate number one. This one, you had to keep the right rear up on the ledge and not let it fall off, otherwise it would help you roll right down this little ledge. Luckily with the Interceptor, I have lots of articulation with this setup and I was able to get up there no problem. Those D's bands help keeping my truck planted on that extreme side hill heading up into gate one. Now we're working over to a gate that I set myself. A little bit of a, uh, this rock here is super grabby, so it grabbed onto the top of my tread there and really doesn't like to let it roll. This gate here is a extreme side hill and I am the one who set this one. And Luke was giving me a hard time because he was laughing if I was going to take myself out with my own gate, which is always a real possibility. But uh, I ended up rolling upside down and I know that if I turn my wheels up, and go full reverse, I can usually upright myself. And there she went, just like I wanted. And this truck is rocking the new comp wagon from ProLine, so that way the, pen, the fenders are pre-cut. This is not the power wagon, this is the comp wagon. So a newer body at the time of this video, really cool. I liked how the uh, paint turned out on it, really excited to have one of these in the fleet. Now we're going into gate number four, which is a pretty aggressive down and left turn. The rock formation here can easily bump your rear tires and slide them down into that arrow cone. So I really tried to crawl it. Luckily with the portal axles and the good belly clearance, I was able to stay planted and uh, keep traction where I needed it. Here we are heading over to gate number five. It is going to be a steep uphill through a little V crack where you kind of have to transition into the crack. And then we also have a bonus up top off to the right. But instead of trying to go straight into the bonus from there, uh, I decided to swing around 
and then reset myself better for the bonus. So I cleaned gate five, uh, took a left, and now we're driving back up where I went, but I'm gonna avoid the gate this time and head over towards the bonus. I helped set this bonus along with one of our buddies at the course. Uh, we had not driven it yet, but I assumed it should be possible with the right rig. It was definitely difficult, and uh, as you'll see here in a second, as, as of my run, no one had cleared and cleaned this yet without a winch. So my truck getting real steep here, front end getting very light, slowly rolling back. I start to release the winch, to hurry and grab a winch, and unfortunately my truck rolls back. So I go ahead and move my leg, let the truck roll down, because if I were to grab my truck right there, that would be considered a reposition. So I let it go all the way to the bottom. Unfortunately, my winch did come unhooked. So at this point, I have to grab it and hook it back onto the bed of the truck. It's not winch assistance, so I'm not getting winch points just yet. However, I will right here in a second when I get back up to this. So again, get myself reset, heading on up here. Not the greatest approach. Now I'm on a really aggressive side hill, but I knew that I was gonna need a winch to come into here anyway, so it wasn't as important where I got my rear tires set up because I had kind of got myself exactly on the line that I thought was going to make it work and it just didn't work out for me. So I grab winch before I'm in real trouble. You can see the truck getting light there and then hooking it up to the winch cable. My, my winch right here, it likes to get jammed on occasion, but uh, was just able to get it pulled out of there. Although there was a little bit of, uh, it was just before it got real jammed up where you have to like grab the truck and rip it out of there. But uh, now we got it done there. Rock Pirates RC Interceptor Chassis. I am using the Element uh, dual servo mount up front. So I've got the servo mounted in the nose of the truck and then the winch is mounted right next to it in the nose of the truck as well. Uh, that's a great, awesome uh, aluminum part that Rock Pirates offers. And that's the part that works with the Vanquish VFD transmission that I have in this truck. So I've got Vanquish F10 axles. You get a good look at those portals right there. I shaved my steering bump stops, which gives me a crazy amount of steering angle. I've got like 50 degrees plus coming up through gate number six here. And so far so good. I mean, with one winch, I had a couple rollovers, but that hasn't added up any points. This gate really didn't look all that scary or bad, but uh, that left rear drops into the crack, standing that right front way up in the air. And I wanted to avoid taking a reverse if possible, end up on my roof and getting in some trouble here. However, reverses, if you are upside down in our competitions, do not count against your score. So, so far, I still technically have no reverses. Taking another crack at seven, trying to get my left rear on a rock uh, to get my truck kind of hopped up there, get a little aggressive on the throttle and bump seven, roll backwards, and also take out the bonus gate. So right there, I killed two cones, but the unfortunate part is that I hit the bonus gate without even attempting to go through it, which, if I were to hit seven and then go through the bonus, I could take those points off. But because I killed the bonus, the gate is dead and I can no longer go through and take out the, uh, take the points off my score. So now we're going down through eight, headed over into nine. So on our courses that we run, we don't do progression. Once you kill a gate, you can move on. So I had killed both those. So I moved on to gate number eight. That's why I was heading in the direction that I am. Coming up out of nine, I wanted to set myself up well for gate number 10. Getting on the belly here, pretty good amount, but these uh, Proline crawlers and G8 compound pull me through. And I decided, to, you know what, I'm gonna turn left and go into this crack for no reason at all, just drove right into gate number nine. Now I'm very frustrated and had to take a reverse to get my rears up and out of there and then throttle across this gap. I took out gate number nine and now I just need to finish out with gate number 10. So we're three gates down into this course which is not the way I wanted to start these two runs. And I know that other people have gotten better scores already, even though I was only like the fifth driver up on course here. So not a super promising start to this series, but I had a little bit of nerves going, which is kind of funny. Uh, we've been running our own competition series, North First South Utah RC Crawling Championship. And uh, in that series, I was hosting it. So I never really had a feeling of like nervousness because I wasn't really there to win. On um, this time, I was there to be competitive and try and take home the W. Unfortunately, I basically threw it away on course number one. So moving into course two, I have nothing to lose at this point. It's time to calm down and just start driving. Let's take a look at course number two and see if I can clean things up on the second round. Here we are, ready to roll out of the start box on course number two. Again, pretty relaxed at this point. I know that I've got no shot to really compete here. So uh, just heading on into gate 
number one here. So this gate number one was along this long, awesome crack. These are my favorite types of obstacles. So I uh, got lots of practice driving through stuff like this. I was trying to access gate number two and trying to climb up the right side out of this. So dipping from the left side there over across the right, unfortunately with so much forward weight bias in this truck, it didn't let that rear settle. And now I'm super off camber and my right rear is way up in the air and I just was able to save it without tipping completely over. But uh, I end up taking a reverse here to get back on the line I want. Now I'm on my side and using that Reef Smart 1100, tons of torque with all that traction with the steering going on to get my truck positioned where I wanted. Just unable to get up on the right wall there, and so I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna follow this crack all the way out and move on to gate number two and do a big long loop because I don't have time to sit here and fight this and add up more points. So I had taken one reverse in that crack, now we're gonna swing around and we're gonna go up next to gate three because we have to set ourselves up for two, which is actually a down. So here we are, luckily, again, sharp turning on these uh, Vanquish F10 portals, and then a little bit of use of throttle blips here, gets me set up for gate number two, which is a fun off-camber crack, which always does weird stuff with leaning your tire way over like that. You end up closer to the cone than you may intend, but uh, able to drop off of that and get out of there nice and clean. Didn't clip any of the gate there. And now we're heading back over to where gate number three was. I know that I need to aim high on side hill gates like this because you're never going to slide uphill. You're only going to slide downhill. So I try and hug three as close as possible and get through there. No problem, as I had already pretty much done that climb when I first came up to gate two. Now we're setting ourselves up for bonus on this one. This is a standalone rock here. It's not actually part of the full rock formation. It's just a big boulder sitting up top. And I was able to navigate across that crack and get myself lined up for this gate pretty well, um, utilizing that steering again. This is a very steep drop, but instead of just throttling out right at the start, I try and hold on to that rock formation as long as possible because there's so much traction here. I knew that I could get the truck pretty vertical before it would either start to roll over forward or I would have to throttle out. So nice, simple gate there. I think that was gate four. Now this one, I had intentionally decided to run my right side tires up onto this rock because the rock on the right was more jagged and I wasn't gonna fit between them. So if I ran my rocks, my tires up the rock on the left side, that sharp point on that right side rock was gonna stab into my cab and probably put a stop to my forward progression there. Gate number six, I had made a mental note to just carry a little momentum through there. It worked out perfect. Lots of little ledges. If you lost all your momentum, it's very likely you could sit there just spinning tires for a while and end up with a reverse, but I didn't end up having to do that. Gate number seven is a little more off camber than it seems because of the ledges and where your tires climb and whatnot. Right here, I was not actually sure of where to go on the course. I should have gone where I'm standing instead of turning right, but I made it work out, drop down along the edge and then do a U-turn using some good throttle control here, right here to rotate the truck around see how sharp I can make that thing rotate. And then gate number eight, you had to get way up high sideways closer to the eight cone to avoid bumping into that arrow cone. I'm really happy with how that one went, went super smooth. Here is the bonus number two for this course. It is a little uh, pocket in the rock. Driving up high on the left side to get that front tire to come up nice and easy. End up pretty bellied out here and I'm just fighting for traction, but I also don't wanna go too crazy on the throttle. I'm trying to slow crawl it, see if I can find some traction that way. Going back to the medium throttle, I don't wanna just get up there and then all of a sudden fly into the cone uh, on accident. So just able to get those rears up, not too bad. Do a quick U-turn, drop down to where the judge is standing and then follow this rock out here. This is a cool uh, gate here because the crack allows you to drop your driver's side tire in there, which will not allow you to slide any further downhill. So that works out pretty well. However, dropping down into this rock like this, there's a high possibility your bumper can stick in the rock and then you get stuck just about vertical. Luckily with my Desert RC metal bumper, lots of clearance, was able to get through there, no problem. So thanks Cameron for whipping that up for me. That's a sweet high performance bumper and it's got a fair lead in it. So that works out well for the winch. Finally, over to gate number 10. And if we think back on our course, we haven't hit any cones and I've only taken one reverse. So two clean bonuses, one reverse, all clean gates. Had a really awesome run. Pretty happy with how that one turned out. And as I'm sitting here telling you guys that uh, because there was no pressure on me, that one went pretty well. Uh, unfortunately, 
I couldn't put it together on the first course, which was pretty difficult. It was a fun one, but uh, just got that unlucky bounce where I clipped that second bonus gate. And then I, I don't know what was going on on gate nine on the first course. I literally just turned left and drove straight into the gate, which makes no sense when you look at it in the video. But for some reason, I just wasn't paying attention when going through gate number nine. Course number two went extremely well. I'll take any course where I collect one point. The two bonus gates are worth negative 20 and I didn't have any winches, so I had negative 19 points on that uh, second course. Overall, I finished pretty, pretty near the bottom of the pack. I, I ended up with eight points overall collectively and just not a great showing, but it was awesome to get out there, have fun with friends on the rocks as always, and uh, see how this Rock Pirates RC truck could perform. Course one wasn't a great demonstration of it. Course two certainly was, but uh, had a good time out there. I did better than most people did on course two, but sometimes that's how it goes. We have good ones, we have bad ones. I had a little bit of both in the same day. So thanks again to Alec at High Noon Hobby for filming my runs. It's easier for me to drive uh, and use my winch and pull my hook and all that without holding a GoPro. So uh, he definitely helped my course performances there by helping me out by filming. Thanks to Luke at Scumbag RC on Instagram for judging and helping put the event on as well. Be sure to check our Thursday night shows on Instagram. I'm West Desert Wheeler on Instagram. No underscores, nothing like that. I will leave a link down below. Be sure to hit all the affiliate links down below to Horizon and A-Main as well as Amazon and then all of my uh, sponsors are down there as well. So thanks to everyone for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Drop a comment down below what you think of these courses. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Keep the rubber side down.